What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I am John the Potter and we are talking today about this crackle technique and how to do it. We're gonna hop on the wheel and I'm gonna literally show you how to make this and we're gonna talk about how we make it into this. So this crackle technique is really not that difficult. Here's another big vase that we tried with that crackle technique. So basically you get on the wheel, you throw a cylinder and you throw it a little thicker than you normally would. And then you add sodium silicate to the outside. You brush it on and then you heat, use a heat gun or a torch or you can just let it dry over time. Uh, and then you push from the inside and that's what creates those cracks. And so depending on how thick you put it on, how long you let it dry, that all makes a difference in how the finish of the crackle is. So it's actually the clay that is cracked like that on the outside. So the inside is totally smooth. But then when you put the glaze on there, you can choose to glaze the whole thing or you can just like brush it off so that the glaze sticks inside of the crackle. So it's a really fun technique. We just sold a few of these last week on the Etsy restock, which was super cool. There's a lot of fun things you can do with that. So let's hop on the wheel. Are you guys ready? You ready for this? All right, let's do it. Let's hop over there. Got our brush, got our sodium silicate. Be careful with this stuff. When it gets dry, it gets very hard, which is why when you heat it up, it cracks when you open the clay up. And we got our heat gun. So like I said, you can use a, like a torch too, which I'm probably gonna get one of those at some point, but I haven't done this too much. Uh, and then we got some balls of clay. So let's do it. Here we are on the wheel. So we got our clay. Right? Sodium silicate. We got our heat gun, which we are going to plug in. Oh, and then we have our brush. Ready? Boom! So as always, I'll talk through this one and then I'll let you guys watch the rest. So basically what you want for this form is just a nice cylinder. Leave it a little thicker than you normally would so you have some clay to work with when you push it out. So there we go, we got our nice cylinder, right? It's pretty thick, like it's way thicker than I normally would throw, but that's because we have more work to do. So what, one thing that I am gonna do is just make sure that the outside is pretty flat. So I just take a metal rib, go up the side, take all that extra slip off. So now we take our brush and we take the sodium silicate and we're just gonna brush it on. Right, so there, you can see it's pretty much covered there. So basically I'm just gonna go right up to the top right there. All right, so there's that. Now, you take your heat gun, and if you don't have a heat gun, you could just take this off the wheel and let it dry for like 30 minutes or something, or 20 minutes. But since we don't wanna do that, or we wanna like be able to do this right now, we're gonna turn our heat gun on. And then just go, go like this, turn the wheel, do this for maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Okay, so now I know, I can see that it's dry to the touch. And the more that you either dry it with the heat gun or the more that you let it dry, the more pronounced the cracks are gonna be when you come from the inside. All right, so I did it just a little bit more. Now, let's do it. Let's go for it. So I just got the inside a little wet so that my hands slide really easily. But I'll start at the bottom. Can you see that? Can you see it's cracking already? Boom. See that? Isn't that cool? So then the more that you go out, obviously the more the cracks are gonna spread. So then I'll do that. Then I'll take a little wood Wood tool, kind of just carve the bottom a little bit. And then I'll take the, and then I'll just shape the lip. Okay. 
All right, should we do some more? Let's do some more. One more thing that I'm going to try. I have a piece of marbled clay. So this is colored clay. I'm gonna try and put sodium silicon in it and do the crackle with the, this spire, this marbling technique. I have no idea if it's gonna look good or if it will work, but I'm gonna try it. All right, friends, that's it. So we got all these thrown. Can you see them all? Well, you saw them in the video. This one turned out pretty sweet. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit record for part of it, so you didn't see all of it, but it's actually turned out really cool. So that's fun. So that's what this technique is, the crackle technique. It's pretty cool. What do you think? You like it? Do you not like it? There's a lot of different ways you can finish it now. You can put glaze in the cracks, wipe it off. You can glaze the whole thing and see how that works out. And then the crackles are a little more subtle. Um, yeah, comment below. Tell me if you've ever worked with sodium silicate, what you've done, what your favorite project is, all that jazz. Um, it's experiment with both how much sil sodium silicate you brush on and how long you let it dry for, both make a difference in how big the cracks are. So you can probably see that, you know, some cracks are really far apart, whereas others are really close together. And that just matters, both of those things, how thick the sodium silicate is when you apply it, and then how long you let it dry for, and how much you push from the inside out. So there's lots of experimenting that can be done to find what you like the best. <gasps> All right, guys. I think that is it for this video. There's some very exciting things coming for the John the Potter YouTube channel over the next year. Thinking about maybe like a pottery road trip 2020. 
So if you have a studio that we want to come visit, start thinking about that. We got, there's just so much fun stuff coming. So much fun stuff. As always, comment below with any videos you guys want to see. And subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you guys in the next video. So much to do. So much to do. Little studio update for you. This is like behind the scenes. Only for the people that really want to know and are still watching. Oh! Completely full glaze kiln in there, which I will probably not film. And I got a ton of pots. That's all full of mugs. Full of mugs on the back. Bowls, serving bowls, mugs. Got a bunch of stuff, gotta load that. I'm probably gonna load that into this kiln today. Hopefully edit this video that we just shot. Look at that guy. A big vase crackle. If you have a studio, I have an amazing idea for this like pottery studio road trip where my family and I all, we're gonna live on the road for like, you know, a couple weeks or a month or something and we'll travel around and then I'll come to your studio, make a pot or make a couple pots and then have you send it to me. So then we'll like be there for a day, we'll leave and then I'm still developing this idea in my head and it seems really, really cool in here, but I still need to like get it down and like actually have it make sense. If you have a cool studio and you want me to come by and we'll do a little filming, we'll do a little pot creating, still gotta figure out a way to pay for the trip. So if anyone has any ideas, maybe a sponsor, maybe a... Tell me, should I just do this more where I just like turn on the camera and just like talk what I'm thinking? I'll just put it at the end of the videos. I mean, a high percentage of the people that start the video aren't finishing the video anyway, so it's really only the people that really care about what I'm talking about, so might as well, right? Are you living out your dreams? Are you following what gets you excited? Because if you're not, why? What's holding you back? That's my really, that's like my real main mission with this YouTube channel. I want to just like pursue what I like get excited about because that's like when I'm the most effective is when I'm just like jacked. Like right now I'm so excited about this colored clay thing, this marbled clay thing. And I just think I'm super effective when I'm really passionate. As can be seen by this YouTube channel, like I am passionate about pottery and people like watching people that are passionate. So why isn't everyone doing stuff that they're passionate about? Right? All right, now I'm peacing out for real. Peace.